Hi, I'm Laura Ertwine and welcome to this episode of Laura's Guide to Philadelphia. Today I'm in University City and right now I'm on Locust Walk, which is in the heart of the University of Pennsylvania. Today we're going to be checking out Louie Louie, which is the newest restaurant. It's just around the corner. Let's go check it out. My name is Laura Ertwine. I'm a mother, realtor, artist, and longtime resident of Philadelphia. And this is my guide to the people, places, and events that make this city a great place to live and work. So we're here at 37th and Walnut Street, right outside of Louie Louie. Let's go check it out. Today, we are here with Cindy Grimms, and we are at Louie Louie, and it's this fantastic new restaurant in University City, and it just opened about two months ago, is that about right? two months ago, yeah. So it's an American bistro with French influence. A lot of the decor you will see is not your traditional French bistro. We took the Art Nouveau period and we actually fused in some Peter Max slash Wes yeah. Anderson vibes with these really fun colors. Yep. We found that a lot of the colors from the Art Nouveau period actually mimicked the 1970s as well. Yeah. So you will see that this, uh, this bistro is unlike any other. It has... It certainly is large open floor concept and a lot of outdoor dining as well with about yeah. 75 seats outdoors. It's part of what I really loved about this actually. The design, the decor, and the outdoor seating. I think yeah. the outdoor seating is something that's very unique not only to University City but also to Philadelphia. I think that there are not many restaurants with such ample seating outside. Yeah. So I think that that is one of the most special parts about this restaurant. Yep. Um, not only do we have outdoor seating but we also have a lounge uh, that can accommodate up to 70 guests. So between happy hour um, from four to seven every day, we have over a hundred seats that can be accommodated between our lounge, outdoor seating, as well as our bar here. That's great. Yeah. So you guys are open for lunch, dinner, and then brunch on the weekends? Brunch on the weekends. So we open for brunch on the weekends at around 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. um, so we get them in nice and early. We found that University in general, we own White Dog Cafe just right. two blocks away. We've been in business there for about 35 years. Uh, our impetus to go into business again in University City has really been the, um, I would say, the amount of construction and building from University Penn, yeah. CHOP, and the healthcare system. Um, it's been a very robust community for us. And a lot of people will always ask me, you know, oh, are your restaurants mostly students? And every time my answer is no, students typically just come for brunch on the weekends. Uh, the majority of this community is really guests who are traveling and doing recruiting at the university. Yeah. Um, patients, patients' families, um, physicians, faculty, administration of the university, um, both at Penn as well as Drexel. Yeah, and so Louis Lou is actually connected to this hotel here. Yeah, so um, we are not associated with the Inn at Penn, however, we are located... Um, and what is the address here? 3611 Walnut Street, so it's 36 and Walnut, right across from the Annenberg Theater and Locust Walk, so it Great. provides a really convenient location for people who are wanting to enjoy the arts yeah. or maybe dropping their children off at school. Yeah, it's great. I know that this is a father-daughter team here and that you guys kind of came up with the whole concept of the Art Nouveau and, and the whole design. Do you want to tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, absolutely. So we came up with the concept about two years ago. The concept originated as just an Art Nouveau Bistro and through the pull process um, of design with our designer, Ro Creative, with Kate Rohr, we found that it was not as inspiring and didn't really speak to us as much as we wanted it to. I think that uh, in general, my dad has never been afraid of color and things that are a little bit more funky. Yeah. So um, he had actually just been to Paris to do some research and found that a lot of the restaurants were very similar. Um, and after kind of meddling around with um, different art and books and stuff like that, he found that Peter Max had really influenced him. Wow. Um, so we decided to go back to the drawing board with Kate and said, okay, how can we make this something different that Philadelphia has never seen before? So we created our own um, 
branding term, which okay. is Retro Nouveau. Okay. Um, we found that we wanted to make the space, it is a very high design space, but we didn't want it to be intimidating people. So we felt, okay, let's make sure that our servers are dressed in jeans and t-shirts. Mm -hmm. um, we want people who are very like, friendly, energetic, upbeat, and we also want it to feel like your neighborhood spot, so the people that live in University City can come here. So the food's not intimidating, it's, um, I would say, classic American fare with a French twist. Okay. Um, so it's very approachable, simple, and comforting. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. Call this area. Yeah, so Great. we call this the terrace. It can accommodate up to 40 people. Uh, this space is great and it's unlike any other in University City because it's winter proofed. So you have the side curtains that go down so we can still use this wow. in rain or shine yeah. even in the winter time if we needed to for Fantastic. a larger party. And then out here we have Walnut Street. So this is the busiest street on University in University City. Yeah. So you will see that there's a tremendous amount of traffic that walks up and down the street all day long from again universities, the hospital systems, administrative um, offices, etc. Mm -hmm. And this was really a major dead zone for uh, the campus. So yeah. we felt like bringing to life and putting energy onto On the, the sidewalk here yeah. was really important 100%. and kind of brought out that more Parisian vibe. Yeah. Well. Um, Sydney, thank you so very much for showing Absolutely. us around Lulu. It's definitely one of my favorite new restaurants here in the city. And everyone should absolutely come and check it out in person. Thank you thank again. Thank you so much, Lark. You're welcome. actually still in the city. We're actually in Spruce Hill, still within the University City area, and this is the Spruce Hill Bird Sanctuary. This, believe it or not, was once owned by the city of Philadelphia, and it was not like it is today. It was full of trash and just debris and dead trees, and it actually was the neighbors, the people who live around here, who decided to clean it up and make it what it is today. Now there's tons of volunteers and people who come out here and feed the birds practically 12 months out of the year. There's actually a little library back here and a compost bin and people come back here and they spend their time making it look, look nice. This is one of the hidden gems here in Spruce Hill and one of the reasons why I love this neighborhood.